Okay, welcome to my shop. I'm Jim Vanderskaff, Down East Wood Art. I want to talk to you a little bit about dust collection. People think it's simple, right? You just uh, get a shop vac, plug it in, suck up all the dust around the area, and that's it, right? No, there's a lot more to it than that. Because, and w w why do we do it? Well, we do it because it's good for our lungs not to suck up all that dust. It's healthy, it's, it helps us, if we're doing finish work, not to have dust all throughout the shop. And we just like a clean environment. If, we spending, if we're spending a lot of time cleaning up all the dust that we have in the shop, we're not doing productive work. All right, so what's the biggest offender? You're looking at it right here, the table saw. It has the ability to throw dust all throughout the shop. So, if you want to focus in on this a little bit, Alex, I'll talk a little bit more about what we've done with it. First of all, I've got two different sections uh, working on the table saw. And if you come over on this side, you can see that I've hooked up a large dust vacuum that goes back all over here in the corner. And you might want to get a... A shot of this device. This I got from Rockler. It's a dust collection mechanism that I use for the whole shop, but it gathers the dust in the bag. Okay, and the other one is a dust collection mechanism that's attached to a shop vac that collects the dust from the top of the table saw. Both are independent of one another. In other words, I put the maximum amount of vacuum that I could in, in doing this. So if I'm going to cut something on the saw, then what I do, let's uh, grab a piece of wood and um, give it as an example. We're gonna, let's say we're going to trim off just the edge of that board okay well for those of you familiar with table saws you know if i tuck if i trim just the edge it's going to throw the maximum amount of dust back at me so <clears throat> with this vacuum i can set it down as close to the top of the wood as a, as possible and then uh turn the saw on and i also have come up with this little device which I put right in there and that blocks the dust shooting back at me. And when I do this with all these devices on, I get maybe 5% of the dust that I normally would have gotten when I was doing this without any dust collection. So that's the table saw. We good? Okay. So. <clears throat> The way this works, and there's an, another piece to dust, dust collection on this table saw that I didn't explain in the prior video. This slides off, and before I do anything else, I'm going to shut the power cord off. Pull up the power cord plug. Drop the blade. Lift out the insert. Now, if you look on the inside here, Alex, if you focus right in on there, you'll see a plastic piece of plastic that is stuck to the inside on the underside of the table saw with duct tape. You might think that's a rather screwy way to collect dust, but it actually works. And it works because the vacuum on the other side to the dust port, which is right over here, if the air is prevented from coming in on the side, which is the majority of the air, then I don't get dust falling down underneath the table saw, which works very effectively. If you look underneath, that shot vac is dedicated totally to this suction mechanism. And that's it for that one. Okay, so dust collection for the surface planer. Uh, I put my surface planer on wheels and uh, because it's easy to move around in the shop, I've got limited space, so I'll just roll it up. Normally wood, and then we hook it up to 
this large vacuum port like this and plug it in and I don't know if don't worry about me on this shot I don't know if you're familiar with planing a board but basically you stick the board in after you've planed it you adjust the height and run it through I don't bother to turn on the suction back here because this device is so powerful it just blows dust all the way down into the bag all right so this is my bandsaw my homemade bandsaw uh, I didn't design it but I built it I the design came from Matthias Wangdahl who has the website woodgears.ca uh, CA does not stand for California it stands for Canada and <clears throat> what I'd like to do is just show you dust collection on this device uh, it's a pretty handy bandsaw you can see the nickel on the table is just vibrating slightly which is really an indication of how well made this bandsaw is I can easily use it to slice logs I've done that with this particular log, you can see all the pieces that go together. That was part of a log at one time. I'm just making a uh, hanging device with three different levels on it with, with rope. But in any case, the dust collection is not a special port or anything. All it is is a drawer down here which has, which collects all the dust. Most of the dust is just pulled by the blade down into the, the uh, bin. A little bit accumulates on top, but not enough to make any difference. That's it on the bandsaw. Okay, so you've probably heard of Festool, and Festool, one of the Festools is used to cut uh, mortises. Uh, I built my own, and this is an example of what I'm talking about. That's a mortise, and this is the tenon that slides into it. Uh, what I do with this machine is I cut both mortises that look like that. This was cut with this machine. And then I use uh, a right-sized, not this, but a right-sized floating tenon to go into both sides of the mortise. The way the machine uh, works is, as you can see, there's a power cord, there's a trim router on the inside, there's a hose that connects to the front, there's a dust port that allows all the dust to be cut out, and then what happens in the front is there's a upcut router bit that I can move back and forth in a flat plane to cut out that mortise. Um, the um, device is very effective. I can use these adjustments to handle different size woods. Uh, I've used it for quite some time and I, I find it to be very useful. All right, this is my router table with a router uh, uh, built in and I have an adjustable fence and that just slides back and forth. I haven't found the need to do anything more complicated than that. But since this video is about dust collection, I want to let you know that I made this fence and the dust, if you want to get on top here, Alex, you can look down and see that we have a dust port here and there's a hose that goes around and over on the right side you can see that that's connected then underneath way underneath to a hose that sucks the dust in and pulls it right down through this hole it's very effective at sucking dust in uh, because i've got a dedicated shop vac uh, that pulls in all the vacuum i get very very little dust when using this device 